in this particular session we will continue with our another tool that you can use for your java code analysis the complete name was mobile security framework so let's get started with the mob sf for the mob sf i'm using my kali linux here it doesn't comes with the kali so you have to go with the browser here and search for mob sf you go with the first link from github.com slash mob sf go with the code and you can download the zip file or if you want you can simply clone this one as well this time i'm going to download this zip file here go with the open with ok and let's extract our zipped file here so i'm going to extract this one on my desktop folder and extract it done all right so after this let's go with our terminal and move inside our cd desktop folder and inside desktop move inside our mobile security framework mob sf folder inside your mob sf you can see we have multiple files out there but we also have a requirements.txt file here so it means first we have to fulfill all the requirements all the dependencies and then we will be able to execute our mob sf to fulfill all the requirements just go with simple command like pip install hyphen r and go with your requirements.txt and just hit enter here this will simply install the dependencies install all the requirements and then you will be able to execute your tool all right so all the dependencies has been installed now if i go with again this file now you can go with simple this setup.sh file to complete the installation and after this setup.sh you can execute this mobsf tool with your run.sh script if you are doing all these steps in your windows machine then you can go with these bad files so let's go with this setup file first go with simple dot slash setup.sh and hit enter this will again checks for the dependency and install them one by one there was a dependency with the name python3 virtual environment or python3 hyphen venv which you have to install manually so let's install this one and go with simple apt install and python3 virtual environment and hit enter to complete the installation and none so all right after this one you have to execute the same setup.sh file to install the mob sf and just hit enter all right so now it has been completed so for the execution part we now just go with the same run.sh file to execute this mob sf here so just go with simple dot slash run dot sh and hit enter this will give you a link here just go with this link hold your control button and click on this link here and your link will be open in your any browser what you have to do is just open your application here go with the upload and analyze browser application i'll go with the application 05 this time go with open and this will simply upload the application and analyze it all right and if you just scroll down you can see we got the option here decompiled code and from here you can go with this view source code and if you want you can also view the smiley code and you can also download all this and manifest file source code and the smiley code as well so let's go with all these things one by one first of all i'll go with this manifest then go with the source code and then let's go with the smiley code here so in the manifest file you can see this was the manifest file from our app android application here the android application the complete package name was com.pentesterlab.android05 and again these are some of the permissions these are some of the activities here these are the intents again different component def declaration and definitions were there after this manifest file we got the basic source code which you can open here directly i'll go with this com folder as per the package name the package name was com then pentester then android05 and your main activity class will also be stored in the same location so go with com go with pentester lab and from pentester lab go with android05 and here you can see we got the main activity dot java class just click on it and you will get the source code here like we got some import libraries here then we got some methods 
and this was the basic java code which you can analyze so you can also use this mob asf to analyze your java code manifest file and if you want you can also analyze this smiley code as well go with the same locations and go with the same class you, this was my smiley code here so if you want you can go with these things here you can use the java code smiley code and whatever you want manifest file as well so this was your basic mob asf installation and your simple source code extraction part have a good day and stay connected